today we're going to work with text functions which help us manipulate data to give us a better analysis and better understanding of the actual underlying data. So it, when you do receive a data dump from a client, it's usually pretty unstructured because sometimes the systems aren't formatted in a fashion that is easy to analyze, especially in Excel and there also are other programs. So we use these text cleaning functions to set up our data so that we can actually do an in-depth analysis and our formulas do work. Uh, down the line, you'll find out things like VLOOKUP and pivot tables and other functions where your data does need to really be in a clean fashion in order to be able to analyze it effectively. In this section, we will be discussing how to cleanse your data using text functions. As discussed throughout the course, it's important to clean up a data set before starting any type of analysis since there might be issues within the data that could generate noise and false results. We're going to focus on how to manipulate and alter text within a data set using a number of different text functions. Text functions allow you to modify, manipulate, and search text data in order to increase the utility of your data in Excel. Let's start with the write function. This function allows you to extract a substring from a text string, starting at the end of the text string and selecting the defined number of characters. The write function requires a text string and a number as inputs. For example, if I provide it with a cell containing the word hello and the number two, Excel will return the L and the O, the last two characters of the word. Note that the write function, just like every other text function we're covering today, counts spaces as a character. The write function can be combined with other text functions that we will be discussing later on in the section. To extract specific parts of a text string. Our next function is the left function. And as expected, it works similar to the right function, except that instead of selecting the character starting at the end of the word, this function starts at the beginning. The left function also requires a text string and a number as inputs. Let's practice the right function. As we see, we have been given a set of product IDs that are all structured the same way. Two letters followed by a dash, followed by a number. We are being asked to extract the last four characters of these product IDs using the right function. We usually see problems like these when we receive a numerical string that contains multiple sets of identical information. For example, in a bank account number, which contains the routing information for the bank, as well as the actual account number. By using the right formula, we can extract parts of the identified information in order to run an analysis on that data. So let's get started. As you can see, the right function requires a text string as its first input. Here, that is going to be the product ID in column B. The next input is the number of characters that we would like to select. Here, we know that all the product IDs have four numbers at the end. Hence, we want to extract the last four characters of our text string. So we enter four. As you can see, this formula successfully extracted the last four digits of the product ID. Now, let's copy the formula down the rest of the rows to finish this exercise. Now it's your turn to try the left and right text functions. We will continue to build off these two as we continue throughout the rest of the session. So let's get a start on exercise B.